Welcome to Johnny United Stadium on Saturday, October 6th, as the Tigers got set to take on the number 14 Richmond Spiders. The band was on hand, and so was Louis J., the Tower Light photo reporter, and he was there to take some pictures of this game. And how about a perfect picture of the first play of the game? Sean Schaefer finds Casey Sieglis on the left sideline down inside the Tiger 30. That would set up on the opening drive seven minutes that capped off by a Nick Williams dive into the end zone. Towson taking the lead early, 7 to nothing, with just under three minutes to go in the first quarter. Then how about third down? Brian Bradford getting in the backfield, stopping Tim Hightower, setting up a Richmond field goal that would go right through the net. That will put the Spiders on the board for the first time in the contest. They still trail 7-3. Then how about another third down and another stop by Brian Bradford and the Tigers' helmet pops off and all. Tim Hightower stopped on third down, setting up yet another Richmond field goal. It's not a replay. They made another three-point opportunity. That makes the score 7-6 to six with just seven minutes to go in the second half. Then right before halftime, Spiders threatening to score. Ball off the hands of Tim Hightower, picked off by Ray White. He heads down the sideline. He could go all the psych. He gets stopped around the 20-yard line. That would set up a Towson field goal opportunity. Mark Benzavingo setting up for the kick, and it is blocked by the Richmond Spiders. Towson unable to capitalize on the Richmond turnover. However, they still carry a 7-6 to six lead into the halftime locker room. Then, second half, Sean Schaefer and the Tigers driving down the field, finds Marcus Lee right over the middle of the field, setting up a 17-yard pass right here to wide receiver Casey Siglis, who catches the ball, sheds the tackler, and heads into the end zone. Pay dirt for the Tigers. They take the lead 14-6, to six, the eight-point advantage for Towson. However, the Richmond Spiders would not go down without a fight. How about a field goal that was short to start the fourth quarter? Let's take another look at that, shall we? The Towson students got their chance to try it, and, well, just like the Richmond kicker, they were short as well. Matt Lauman of the Tower Light unable to make it go. Then Richmond says, hey, we're going to go for seven instead of six. First is Kevin Grayson, the redshirt freshman who catches the ball on the right side. Then how about Eric Ward, the quarterback, saying, hey, I can do it with my legs too. Scrambling into the end zone for the touchdown. All of a sudden, it's 14-12. to 12. Richmond knocking on the door for the Tigers. Then how about going for the tie, the two-point conversion. Right on the tips of the receiver's hands, he pulls it in. Towson and Richmond both nodded now at 14 apiece with 10.48 to go in the game. And how about Sean Schaefer? Game-winning drive, will you? A little foreshadowing for you as he hits Demetrius Harrison on the left side. Towson would set up in field goal range for what would be the go-ahead score at 17-14 after the Mark Benzavingo 38-yard field goal. Towson takes the lead 17-14 with 5.29 to go. It's over, right? It's over, right? Wrong. How about Kevin Grayson catching the ball over the middle once again? Then... 52 yards on the drive by Tim Hightower, and that would be capped off by this draw play up the middle, dragging Towson defenders into the end zone for the touchdown. Richmond taking the lead 21-17 to with just 29 seconds to go in the ball game. Then 22 seconds left. Sean Schaefer takes over. How about four perfect plays? How about the first one up the sideline to Demetrius Harrison? He's out around the 45-yard line. Next play, Schaefer. Finds Harrison again. He gets the all the way out of bounds to the sideline inside the 40. Next play, Schaefer looking over the middle. Pinpoint accuracy as he hits Paul Perry. That would set up this play with four seconds to go. Last play of the game, Towson down by four. How about, can you say, ice water in the veins of Sean Schaefer? He finds Demetrius Harrison who toes the sideline. Take another look. Harrison gets both feet in as time expires. And the Tigers knock off the number 14 team in the country. They defeat the Richmond Spiders 23-21 to to claim their first CAA win of the season.